I'm talking to Margaret. Margaret, where did you volunteer and what did you do? Well, I volunteered to go to the Amar Jayote Secondary School, which has five feeder primary schools in Pokhara, which is uh, the second largest city in Nepal. And what were the highlights of your trip? Well, there were so many, it's difficult really to summarise, but first of all, we were so well looked after at the lodge by the group who were organising the project. And the people in the school were incredibly friendly and willing to learn. And what do you consider were the greatest challenges of your time on the project? One of the challenges was wondering how we would be able to communicate in a classroom with so little knowledge of the language. As it happened, it didn't prove to be a problem at all because normally we had an English speaking member of staff with us who helped us out in that direction, but they wanted mostly to hear us speak in English. So we did most of the time. And we learnt about a dozen phrases while we were there that greatly helped us, particularly in the classroom. What is the most important piece of advice you would give potential volunteers? I would say um, be prepared to be put on the spot, to think on your feet. There are obviously many challenges, but we went into the classroom and observed just for a few minutes and looked at the curriculum and the coursework that was being followed and after a few minutes we took over and started to teach and it was literally opening the book and thinking oh yes we could zoom in on that bit there and we could do something with that bit there and then thinking on your feet finally Margaret why did you choose people and places um, well first of all I was fortunate enough to have met Kate before I decided where I was going to go uh, and um, she gave me a very comprehensive overview of what I would be doing. I have to say that people and places are very thorough and all the information that they wanted was all relevant to the project and everything was so carefully planned out for us. We had a wonderful time. Thank you, Margaret. Thank you for your time.